Hey y'all, it's me, Sherilyn. Just goodness 333 Little Homestead. And today I'm gonna to show you how I like to tame the jungle. You see this mess? This is an absolute mess. This is where the chickens used to be. And I kept saying, oh, I'm gonna get back here and cover it up and put down cardboard and, and all this good stuff. And it kind of never happened. But today I'm gonna to get out here and tame this jungle because I wanna grow something in here this fall. and. I'm going to show you something that's a super easy trick. So stay tuned. Okay, this is where I had started collecting cardboard. I can see it now. I've just run the weed eater through what seems to be easy to weed eat, but let me show you this. Guys, we moved the chickens from here. Uh, right after Mother's Day, I think. And this is August 1st. So this is just two months where there had not been a blade of anything growing all the time the chickens were here. And look at this. Nature just loves to go crazy. She's a wild woman. Look at this. I have pokeberry here. There's some vegetable amaranth that seeds must have spread over here. There's some of this horrible, horrible, deep-rooted weed that has yellow flowers. I don't know. And look at this. The weeds are almost as tall as the fence. So I'm going to weed eat what I can. I'm going to pull the rest. I see more amaranth and pulp back there. Lots of grass. And then I'm going to bring you back and show you my secret weapon. Okay, I got most of the big stuff knocked down. Some of this really thick grass here. I'm gonna have to come in and dig up with a shovel. But some of this stuff I'm gonna just leave and I'm out of breath because I've been hauling all the wood and T-posts and stuff that I had stored right there. But it's looking a lot better. There's some of these sticks and stuff back here that I'm gonna take a chance. You know, these woodier weeds. I'm gonna take a chance and just leave them and if I have an issue with them later I'll just try to put something on top of them but before I keep you guys much longer look at this one thing that I'm going to tell you what my secret weapon is do you see this here these dead branches and then all that new life you guys remember when um, I went to my sister's pasture and we pulled out some wild elderberries. The other one I planted over here is doing fabulous. This one I thought had died and I'm cutting all this stuff out of here and I'm like, wait a minute, that's elderberries, oh my goodness. Let me show you my secret weapon. Okay, here it is. Super cheap, like $16. And this is plastic sheeting. It's 10 by 25. So it's 250 square foot. This is a three mil plastic. And this is the stuff that I put down when I wanna kill off grass and weeds. It's also the stuff that I laid down here over the septic drain. You can see it's down there. And all of this is um, just hay and mulch and stuff over this plastic. Now I left this plastic on the septic drain here because um, you know this grass is super tenacious and I wasn't going to plant into the ground. But back there I'm going to plant into the ground. So I'm going to put this plastic down. Today's August 1st. Um, I'm hoping to start planting some things back here in October. Of course, I'm in South Florida, so 10A, so I can do that. But I'm going to plant back here and uh, try to expand my garden space because, you know, we got food, food and security issues. I've been weeding in so much, my hand is shaking, and I think the camera is too, so I'm sorry. So I'm going to finish cleaning this back end up a little bit, dig out a few of those massive grass clods, and then I'm going to lay down this plastic. Okay, my 
25 foot length didn't make it all the way. I'm a little around two feet shy of this border over here. So I'm gonna have to come in with some cardboard there. <sighs> Don't even get me talking about the grass that took over the herb garden. But look at this. I've been out here for less than an hour. And this looks much better. Now there are some places, I don't want to walk across here because some of those weeds had thick stems. And may maybe I can zoom in. Hold on, here we go. There. Um, some of those stems poked through when I was back there. So what I think I'm gonna do is I can see several places toward the back where those big stems are sticking up under the plastic. I'm probably going to wait a week or so and I am so out of breath because this was a big job. But I'm going to wait about a week or so and then I'm going to like walk back there slowly and see if I can sort of just with my foot, you know, just sort of push the stem down, mash it down a bit without puncturing the plastic. So this looks much better, don't you think? This is about eight by 26, 27. So I can gain that much more planting space. I still have a lot of work to do. Oh, hi, friend. Can you see him? See that it'll be? Uh, I have a pepper tree growing, a Brazilian pepper tree growing in my Mexican petunias. I have Biden's Alba growing in my Mexican petunias. Biden's Alba has taken over where I was storing all of my green stalks. I have to get these out of here and pull these weeds. So that's not a super big job. They come up pretty easy. Biden's Alba is the one that is the medicinal herb that has these little flowers here. And it has I think this one's a Biden cell, but let me make sure. Yes. How you know? Let me find a stem I can get to. Oh, hi, little guy. Hi, dear little guy. What are you doing? You eat some bugs for me? It has almost a squarish stem. You know, it has little ridges on the stem. And when you come down, it'll only have two sets of leaves. Can you see? I'm so in the way. The sun is at a crazy angle here. I'll have two sets of leaves and come down and have two more leaves. That's where they get the buy from. And no more jungle to tame, more mess to deal with. But I feel quite accomplished this morning. And I think I'm gonna go shower off and plant some seeds. So thank you guys for hanging out in the jungle with me today, helping me tame the jungle. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye, y'all.